and Mike Piazza. There's no yeah. way you can sit there and I don't ask you about Mike Piazza. So that year, interleague play is coming on high, fast, and furious. And when the Mets play the Yankees, it's a big deal in the regular season. Piazza takes you deep. It's a grand slam. I don't know. He, he hit it. I think he hit every off-speed pitch I threw to him. Okay. A month later, it's rematch time, and he hit him in the front of the helmet. I think he hit his hand first and ricocheted his helmet, but it was too it was too far up. I was trying to come in on him. I think I hit three guys above the shoulders in my career. I called all three of them. There's only one that didn't take my call, and that was Mike. But I, we worked so our, never, we worked our through our way through that. Yeah, I mean, you never want to. I never would want to miss a round of guys and and, 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 and chance their livelihood. So. Uh, and then the World Series it was an all New York World Series. For those of you who don't remember, you and Piazza have gone back and forth, uh, and now you have to figure this is eventually going to boil over. A couple other guys on the team that wanted a piece, a couple guys on the other team. So emotions and energy was running high, let alone mine. Well, I, was, I was still a little pissed about everything that went on. So, the bat shatters. You're in, you have the barrel of the bat in your hands yeah. and you throw it. I mean, the film here makes it look like it was right off his shoe tops, but he ended up saying that he didn't know he was you know, running. Uh, basically, I tell people, if I, if I wanted to hit him with that bat, I would have hit him with that bat.